Hey folks, welcome to another edition of Outdoor Heritage TV. Today we're down here at Wagner, Oklahoma on Fort Gibson Lake and we're going to do a little bit of spoonbill fishing. What's another name for spoonbill, do you know? Paddlefish. Paddlefish, that's right. We're going to show you how to get it done, um, a couple different techniques and how to get it done and we're going to have a lot of fun if nothing else, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Hey, stay tuned folks, we'll be right back. We're going to catch some paddlefish. <laughs> Well, sometimes when we're out here, when you're fishing like this, and we've been trolling for what, the past hour or so, it's and we've fun. been seeing a lot of fish and marking them, but a lot of times, when you're marking fish like that, it's better to try and just snag them this way. And that's, um, you know, they're all facing upstream. So that's what you want to do is just mark them. And we come across them, and I marked a bunch of them out there and you just drag it across their backs and a lot of times you'll hook up with one. So, and that's what we're gonna try and do here. Let's just try to snag a couple of them by coming across. Right now I'm sitting in 16 foot of water, but I know out there is about 20, oh, 22. 25 to 30 feet of water. Oh, just bumped one right there. It doesn't take much to snag them. And the thing is, when you're snagging these fish, it's state law to be running with barbless hooks. So what we did is when we bought our hooks, we, got we took our them. hooks and uh, bent the barbs down and then filed them off smooth. And I know it looks like I'm throwing really, really hard right now. But it's just really I'm, easy. I'm, I'm not. All you want to do is drag it across them. They want some cheese with this? What's that? You want some hook? Oh, huh? Yeah. Oh! Ugh. Come here, Cody. Oh, this is going to probably throw me in the lake. Right here. Ow. Put the rod right there. Now, hand on, roll real. Real up. Pull, 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 pull. Oh my god. Pull, 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 pull. Gosh, this one's heavy. Keep pulling. There he is right there coming up. Big one. Oh wow. Snagged him. Pull, 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 pull. <coughs> now, if he runs, just hold on. Bring him over this side. There he goes. Hold him, coat, hold him. <sighs> Got him? Yeah. <laughs> hold him. <laughs> Getting us wet today. <clears throat> And that's why we use on these spoonbill these barbless hooks. Whew. If he takes off running, I might have to let him go, Code. That's a mama. <sighs> Just a baby. Just a little one. Yes, he is a little one, but it's a good start for today. <laughs> Just stop it. Yeah, that's what go, I buddy. said. Go ahead and set the rod down. Gosh, that thing's huge. You want to hold him? I'm not going to be able to hold that thing. Can we stand up next to him? 
Your spoon bill. I'm gonna let him go. Ready? Things as big as me. It's probably about a 40 pounder. And he is not hurt. There she goes. So. First fish of the day. That's the first one. Again, with those barbless hooks, that's why we use the barbless hooks. They come right out. And that fish went in there unharmed. So. First fish, get untangled and see if we can't get another one. Right after I eat, because that made me starving. Looking at all that meat. You know, these fish are a lot of fun to catch. And you know, today we're catching a lot of fish that are in the 40 50 pound range but it's not uncommon to get these fish that are you know get up into the 60 pounds all the way up at over 100 pounds and i've caught a few of the fish like that and they will just flat wear you out but if you're going to go ahead and you're going to try and do some of this type of fishing on your own make sure that you check the regulations here in oklahoma because there are a lot of regulations a lot of restrictions on these fish that help preserve this type of of hatchery this type of fishing for future generations to come so make sure you do that and we are going to go ahead and we're going to get back into the fishing we're going to show you a lot of the fish that we've caught here today and we're just going to have a lot of fun Folks, that's going to do it for us here today on Outdoor Heritage TV. Hope you enjoyed and learned how to catch a few spoonbill. We're going to let this one go, let her go back to the wild. And, uh... Good day to be me. Good day to be you? Yep. Why? Because right now I'm beating you. You're beating me? Yeah, two to one. You only hooked one fish. Are you sure? I hope too and let you reel in one. Reel in, yeah. So good to be me.